Okay. Hey guys, today we are going to play L5 with Kelvin Aster144. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are in the Gold's Dungeon, I think it's called. And we're probably, this video is probably just going to last for like one level, maybe two. I don't know, depends how long this is going to take. But yeah, okay, so let's get going. Sorry if you hear me move around the mic, it's a little bit weird. Uh, we probably will do a video for those of you who are wondering how to get to um, the dungeon. Because I know there w is quite a few people out there wondering how you do it. So yeah. Um. Kelvin's just gonna help me level just cause this game's kinda boring by yourself. Uh. Two, eight, eight. if you guys can see the chat over there. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, this seems to be the biggest problem with this dungeon. Because when you fall down there, there's no way to get up. And so your constant restarting the mobs aren't that hard. They do give a good amount of XP. And Kelvin's actually lagging a little bit. So what happens is he'll get caught on ledges a lot. Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a cough right now. Okay, so let's make our, make our way up here. Okay. Now then this is actually the way that you're going to want to turn and when you're going to want to turn. If you do want to get there. We'll probably like get pretty close to there and I'll just tell you which way you guys gotta go. Oh. If you've got a sylph and a uh, undying with you, this you're basically invincible. Or if you just got two um, level 20 spriggans, because then you guys can just keep on healing each other and you'll get more health than what you're giving. Oh my god. This. <sighs> okay, this time we're actually going to try to make it. Let's make our way down here. If you guys want to pause the video, um, Every time that we take a turn, you guys can do that. 
it's really not that hard to get there. You mainly just memorize it by, you know, these three right here, and then, like, you just get through these and you take a left. Stunning it's super easy. And if you're level 40, trying to get into this dungeon, I suggest you just go level on the, um, mini boss before this dungeon. Because this is a level 45 dungeon. Um, I was actually playing with, oh my god, seriously. Every freaking time. that jump my character freezes and doesn't jump so wow he fell right there okay who's gonna right there if this is a little bit confusing I'm sorry but this time we're gonna definitely try to do this this is, is the unholy weapon that the one, it's one of the boss drops. I have all of his drops, only some of them I can use though. One's level 47, one's level... Well, I think it's level 47. Oh, we got a PvP player. Um, one's level 49 and one's level 50. This is level 47. Not sure why this isn't level 48 weapon instead. Crap, was that the... Yeah, okay, I think this is the way. Ah. I'd rather fail that jump than any of the other ones. As you can see, you can get no way back up there. So that's kind of how you know you're going the right way. Okay, he's kind of going ahead of us. Yeah, they're taking all the kills. Okay, now you just turn right and you are there. Once you get through that little robot right there, you will be in the boss room. There it is. A lot of people are, say it reminds them of a chimera or just some sort of like dog. Oh, lag. Yeah, this is gonna happen whenever you fight this boss with Kelvin. He's like, don't spam your magic. <laughs> it ca causes lag. The more it lags is not the more fun it is. <laughs> 